Hello and welcome to another Cactus Hill Adventure. In today's episode we're going to be going on Highway 95 just west of Blanding. We're going to be visiting the Mule Canyon Kiva and driving up Arch Canyon Road. Mule Canyon Kiva is uh, really uh, easily accessible right off Highway 95. Here are some information signs that you could pause in the video and read them if you like. But here's a few pictures that uh, we took of the area. Again, it's easily accessible right off the highway. Any car can get there. These have been refurbished and those roofs have been built over the top of them, but still it's very interesting to observe and, and know that these people lived in the area thousands of years ago. Here we're going to be leaving Mule Canyon, uh, Kiva area, and heading to Arch Canyon Road. We're going to be going basically north up Arch Canyon Road. And you can see Mule Canyon Trailhead. That's the trailhead you access the house on fire. That was our original destination. We were going to go hike that trail. But they'd had some significant rains the last couple of days in the area, and that trail was deemed too muddy to, to hike on. That was from the National Forest Service, the ranger. So anyway, we're on this little offshoot trail road that's uh, off of the main Arch Canyon Road. And we stopped there to hook up the GoPro and get that going. So we're going to go over to the right here and then turn left and we'll be on Arch Canyon Road. As you can see, the road's pretty good. It's hard packed uh, soil, sand, kind of loamy, but it's hard packed. Uh, no gravel to speak of. Good road. Coming up here on the right, there'll be a, a pullout. Looks like a parking area for a trailhead. And uh, just past there is a wooden bridge that goes across the stream. And I don't know the name of the stream. But after the bridge, there's a camping area on the right. Uh, looks pretty neat, a uh, pretty nice area. And we actually stopped there on the way back. So I'm going to edit it in in this part of the video so you can see this campsite if you're into camping. We were kind of surprised there wasn't anybody there because it was such a really nice spot. So here we're going to make the turn into the campsite. There's a stream on the right. Big cottonwood tree there and there's a fire ring just to the left of the cottonwood tree. We basically stopped here to relax a little bit and kind of lick our wounds from not being able to uh, go on to the hike to the house of fire. We discovered this little stream. Cactus Hill again, just uh, letting you enjoy the sound of the running stream. We stopped here and had some lunch and just enjoyed the, the scenery and the serenity of the area. There were some people hiking to the right on that ledge up there, so I assume that's where the trail goes. Don't know where it goes or what it leads to, but uh, we did see a few people hiking. Okay. Anyway, here we're back on the main road. I'm going to speed this up. Uh, this is pretty standard all the way through. The, the brush and the trees on each side kind of kept us from any view. We're on a plateau. Again, the road's good. A uh, couple of wet spots, but nothing too bad uh, considering that the amount of rain they had in the last couple of days, it looks like it drained out pretty good. And this Arch Canyon, I, I didn't do any research on this road at all. And uh, so we're kind of just going on it to see what it's about. 
Uh, I've done a lot more since then, obviously, since I'm doing this video. But it's a place we're going to go back to. And we're going to continue on past where we stopped here. We went about maybe three, three and a half miles in and stopped. And we'll be coming up to that shortly. Here's the roughest part of the road we've encountered so far. It really wasn't that bad. Uh, just some rock sticking about at the base of the road. Any vehicle can do this road. Uh, I think an SUV would be perfect. Not even have to be four wheel drive. Up to this point anyway. Past where we stop, maybe, but again, I haven't been on that part yet, so we'll let you know when we go. Here we're starting to see some scenery and to the right is actually Arch Canyon. Uh, over that uh, knoll there is Arch Canyon on that side. This Arch Canyon Road goes to the Arch Canyon Overlook which is approximately three, four miles past from where we stopped. And I'll show you the map of that and also a picture of Arch Canyon. This canyon to the right looked pretty interesting, so we decided that we were going to pull over here and just kind of hike around there. It looked like there might be some ruins. There's a big arch back in the corner of that canyon, kind of an overhang. Thought there might be some ruins there. And this is the uh, basically where we started again down on 95 at the Arch Canyon entrance. And that's where we ended up here at the Arch Canyon Road pullout. And then to the right or to the east is Arch Canyon. Here again is the, the pullout. And if we kept on going, we would end up going up to the Arch Canyon viewpoint. As you can see, the arrows point you in the direction there. I'm saying that's probably three, maybe four miles. And then Arch Canyon and Texas Canyon intersection are right at that viewpoint. And here's a picture courtesy of TrailsOffRoad.com. So I think it's worth the drive just for that view. Here we're back with Little Red and the road we came up on. We're looking back from where we came. Here's the road in front of us. And it's a lot steeper than it appears in the picture. But we decided just to stop here. And we did it like I mentioned earlier. We hiked over to this side of the road on the right. Didn't find much over there. So we went over to the left. Found this trail and went down this trail. Basically we hiked down this uh, below this ridge line here along the trail. And this is one of the first things we found. Well this is Cactus Hill again. I think I'm recording. Yes I am. Okay. We're still in Arch Canyon. We've uh, discovered some ruins. Uh, we're about three miles out, uh, over three miles out up a little steep grade. We went over to the left and hiked down this kind of mesa area. And there's a little valley here and this is, uh, we discovered these ruins. Uh, not a lot, but just right here you can see some of the stones stacked and there's some pottery around here, broken pieces and things. Uh, a lot of agate around here too. So just uh, thought I'd share this with you. I'm gonna take some more stills and uh, we'll move on. Cactus Hill out. These couple of pictures are of those ruins we just looked at on the video. This is where we came through. It's on the hiking trail. And this looks like the house on fire. You'll see a picture later, but it's very similar to that look. We walked down this way and then we turned the corner and this is what we discovered there. A 
Not sure if it was a sleeping area or a granary, but it was pretty cool to see. So we continued walking and we found these balanced rocks, three of them right there, and just past these rocks we found this. We were pretty excited to find something that uh, we didn't know or didn't expect, didn't know it was going to be there, so we enjoyed that part of it. Again, here's a map of where we are basically hiking at, and then down basically south is the house on fire, so if you look to the south from where we were, there's the house on fire. And I'll zoom in with my Nikon here. No tripod, probably two and a half, three miles away. Picture turned out pretty decent. So here's a picture of the house on fire ruins that I got off the internet. You can kind of see why it's called the house on fire. This next photograph will show you even more why it's called the house on fire. Apparently the lighting during certain times of the day is what causes that. Here we have some pictures of some flowers we thought were pretty cool looking, so we thought I'd include them here and give you the name of each one of them. This one is the Indian paintbrush. That's pretty common throughout the southwest. And here's a canyon lizard, which is obviously very common throughout the southwest. And there's a little red, which is also very common in the southwest. Thanks for watching our video. And as I always say, you won't know if you don't go. Coming up next will be a picture of the entrance to the actual Arch Canyon. It's off of Highway 95 and North Combwash Road. I'll include a link from a channel called Follow. They went up Arch Canyon Road and it's a video well worth watching. Take care and remember to have some fun out there.